is a peak god. <laughs> Nicholas Bryan. I like yeah. that side. True so desk. Today I'd like to talk about crowdsource multi-camera video. So what does that mean? Let's take an example. Imagine everyone in this auditorium took out their mobile phones and started taking a video of me. How scary would that be? Or an ex a second example. Imagine it's Friday night, you're out in the town, you go to a huge live music concert. There's 10, 20,000 people in the auditorium, everyone's drinking, singing along, having a good time, and you take out your cell phone to savor the moment. You take some videos, the concert's over, you go home, but before you call it a night, you up upload those videos to YouTube, or maybe a future Adobe Creative Cloud uh, web service. And then the next day, you wake up, and you search YouTube, and try to find out who other people who uploaded those same videos of that concert. Well, here I have an example of, of uh, seven or eight uh, YouTube videos that I downloaded from a Taylor Swift concert um, from a couple of years ago in San Jose. So I'll try to play them back. One of the first things you might want to do is play, play back a whole bunch of videos of the same show to, to create that multi-camera video experience. So let's take a listen. That's pretty painful. Everything is unsynchronized. You, we can look at the track view here. You have the tracks are at different file lengths. They're, they start and stop at different points in time. They're just all unsynchronized. And even if we look at the videos, the videos are, are, are simply showing different events in time that, in, in a not uh, respective manner. So we want to synchronize those. This is my sneak for tonight. Wait for a quick demo, we can export some file data here. I have uh, a demo folder. I'm going to save it as input. I'm actually going to run this on the command line. Uh, who likes the command line here? Woo who doesn't like the command line? Woo oh. Command line! Woo All right, so I'm going to run that command crowd. I don't know what a command, what's a command line? <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's starting to read in all these media files that I have. It's doing a, it's thinking about it, doing a little processing. It's trying to find out salient points in each video, trying to time, li time align those points. And we're almost there, we've got some matching points here. This uh, HTML? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, so it's, it's not a JPEG, right? It's searchable text. <laughs> right? <laughs> so we're done, we're done synchronizing and it just, Go back into Premiere Pro. I'm going to take that output. I get my new output folder. I have my That's the problem with the command line. It's just so here whatever. we can look at the track view. The, the files are in a, a, a different or, or a different time arrangement. I'll pick a, a, a clip in the file and play it back. Somebody, uh, you know, close up, close up uh, in the back. Someone way up in the bleacher seat, so you can experience it, experience that that multi-camera video, that crowdsourced multi-camera video, in a really, really cool new way. So, thank you. That is thank really you. cool.